Lippy's eyebrows are more angular than Sade's, so I'm going to round them out using the black eye pencil with the 210 angle brush and applying the color on Libby's eyebrows with my 210 angle brush. Small strokes. Remember to add a curve because Sade's eyebrows are very round. Now it's time to move on to the eyeshadow. A great tip when you're working with eyeshadows, start with your lightest colors and work your way to the darker. Under Libby's eyebrow, I'm using the bone eye color with the 350 brush. Load your brush and use a stippling technique right under the brow bone. All right, see how that gives a really great highlight? Repeat on the other side, just stippling on the color. And I'm using a shorter bristle brush, so it's gonna have more payoff. And another tip, when you're doing a highlight for this particular look, I'm only going right above her natural contour, right about here, because we're gonna actually do a sultry eye and add some shadow in this area. This is apricot. This is going to be applied on the entire lid. Again, for highlight, it's a bit warmer than the bone. With the same 350 brush, I'm going to use the taupe eyeshadow in her contour. I'm just going to stipple the placement and lightly brush upward. Using the taupe, loading a little bit of the color into my 800 brush, and I'm working it right here towards the inner corner, giving her a really nice sultry eye. For an intense glamour eyeliner, I chose the black cake. When using the cake eyeliner, you activate it with water. Mist your palette, don't spray into your product. Make sure you roll your brush into a fine point. Create a slurry of color. What I did is I made a little mark here, and I'm gonna take that mark, and I'm gonna meet right in the center of the eye. Now repeat this on the other eye. To complete the eye treatment, I'm going to use half lashes. The longest lash is gonna to be towards the outer corner of the eye to give a nice doe look. A great tip, when you apply the glue on the lash, let it set for a second. It allows the glue to get tacky. Okay, I'm just holding it in place. Letting the glue dry. And it's right in the lash line. Now that I've strategically placed Libby's false lashes, I'm going to hit them with our volumizing mascara. And I'm going to apply it with the 510 fan brush. For those of you who've never seen the fan brush, pay close attention. Our mascara is in a squeeze form, so you can squeeze it onto your palette for professionals. And for the general public, it's no waste, because after you get towards the bottom, you could cut the bottom of the tube and scrape the rest of the product. Just get under the lashes. You get it right here in the corner. Hide that little plastic line. Don't forget your bottom lashes. To complete this look, we're going to round out Libby's lips with a brick pencil. Then the bottom lip. Make sure you have nice balance, both top and bottom. And then we're gonna blend out that lip line with her lipstick. I'm going to do a blend of two different colors, Mai Tai and Rustic. Keep your lipstick sanitized. 
use your palette knife, the Mai Tai, and blend. To apply the lips, I'm using the 310 lip brush. Start in the outer corner, lay your brush flat, drag a meat in the middle, flip your brush over, start in the outer corner, and meet in the middle. And work on the bottom. Start in the outer corner, drag your brush, Flip your brush over. All right, we finished Libby's look. Now let's top it off with hair and wardrobe. 